Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're gonna to be exploring um, an abandoned China factory. It's the Shenango China factory. It's really cool, it's really big. It looks really post-apocalyptic. So this place closed in 1997 and everything has like still been left. Thankfully, I came here about almost a month ago now and I was able to get some pictures before we got a real bad windstorm and it ended up taking out a lot of the plates in China that were already still here. So it's pretty upsetting, but this place has a really cool history and I'm really excited for this explore. This is crazy. We were here a little bit ago, but since then we've had some pretty serious windstorms and these were all just still piled up perfectly fine, like these ones. And they're all throughout here, but I guess some trees fell down and knocked all these down. Oh my God. That's a shame. Oh. Can you imagine how loud this was when it happened? Like just all these plates falling and breaking. That would be actually pretty cool to be around. Let's see. Yeah, that's wild. No, these fell down. It's crazy. They fell down perfectly, though. There's so many plates, but they're all still perfectly intact. Even with the, I know a lot, this one doesn't, but a lot of them have the dates on them. 9, 9, 9 It's just crazy that they were, they're still standing, for the most part at least. Now, there used to be a way to get up there, but that's what the floor looks like for it, so. I don't think that's going to be possible anymore. <laughs> Those are weird. I don't know what that noise was, but it was really creepy. There's just like a very loud thud right behind me. Or pretend it didn't happen though. <laughs> I don't know how well you could hear that. I'm gonna try and like be able to play it on the video, but we heard some really freaky music back there and it wasn't just coming from nowhere. So we ran out of the back part of the factory. We're gonna explore 
for the rest of the front part, but I'm a little too nervous to go back there right now because I was really freaky that I heard that right after I heard that big thud. So I'm, gonna, I'm a, little, a little nervous right now, but I guess we'll keep going. This place looks like a complete post-apocalyptic world. grill. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Whoa. So this is the second part that caught on fire, I guess. I knew that one part caught on fire like randomly and that more of it caught on fire because people came in here to steal all the copper and they were burning the insulation off of it to be able to sell it. That's really cool because some of them are even like, you can still see them on there, those washers. Like that one's still the outline of a screw. That's crazy, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. This one still has all of them intact, almost. At least the ones that still have like, most of the stickers on them. Still have what they were. Check out how cool this is. There's a bit where somebody filed in some type of report. Looks like maybe they were injured on the job or something. And they still want to pay and the doctor signed off and said that they still needed pay. It was from 11 11 74. It's crazy that just look like it can still lay around here. Where everything is just like a giant sea of ceramic plates and cups. Like, can you actually imagine people running through here and like all these big machines 
and just like constantly everybody pushing in a factory setting to get stuff done. Like it's just really crazy to think about, especially when you see how messed up this place is that it could actually and did function that way at one point. It would be really interesting to see some before photos.